Hey you guys, happy Monday. This is Fran from New Week's Hope. Uh, today Tara and I are going to talk about the feeling of being full after eating and how to deal with that. Because it's really hard for us to feel full. I mean, I still can't feel full after eating. Not at all. But before that, I just want to show you one thing that I got on the mail from Karen. That's Shira 0303. This is like the cutest thing ever because I told her that I had never seen a stuffed gizmo in my life. So she sent me one. And now I have two gizmos and all my dog again. This cute little thing. Yeah. So cute. Anyways. Um, so once you are restricting too much, um, it's hard when you embrace recovery to go back to eating and um, having that feeling of keeping food in your stomach. Like in my case, as I'm a person anorexic, you know, even like in my worst days, even when I ate something like really, really small, I would try to purge that. And um, so I still can't deal with the fact of feeling full. Like I can't have a plate of, like in Brazil we eat a lot of rice and beans and um, some meat with that. I can't have that. No, you're not going to put a plate of that in front of me and expect me to eat that because I can't have that. I'm not going to feel comfortable with that. Um, and uh, I also don't agree with treatments that, like, for example, let's say that a person is having, like, 400 calories a day and she's been having that for, I don't know, a long time. And then all of a sudden she starts treatment and then she's supposed to have, like, 1,500 calories or, I don't know, 1,800 calories a day. She's not going to do that. It's not like... This is not going to happen now. It must be a gradual process, you know, little by little the person will have to learn how to eat some kinds of food and feel comfortable with that. Um, my suggestion for someone who is um, recovering from an eating disorder is something that is really old but works and it is to have at least, I say at least, six meals a day, six small meals a day. Um, you can even have seven small meals a day. I try to have seven uh, because our system in Brazil is different from the other parts of the world because we usually have dinner at around eight in the evening. So um, I can have breakfast and then a morning snack and then lunch and then I can have a snack at three in the afternoon and then another snack at 5 in the afternoon and then I have dinner and then I have something like a yogurt or something before I go to bed but they're all small portions and I have like the calories uh, divided in the seven small portions so this way I don't feel full um, regarding going out for dinner with friends and stuff um, I don't know, it's like, for me, it's a waste of time and a waste of money to go to a all-you-can-eat uh, restaurant because I'm not going to eat, like, I'm barely going to eat there. Um, we have to be strong enough not to, um, not to be trapped by the temptation temptations that they have there, you know, with food and things, because the urge to purge after that is going to be big. Once you have uh, the history of purging, you know, if you feel full, that's what's going to come to your mind immediately. You know, I'm full, so I have to get rid of it somehow. And um, that's what we want to avoid here. So uh, it is hard, it is hard. And I don't know if one day I'm gonna have the ability of feeling full again, you know, and feeling comfortable with that. 
which I think is not a bad thing, you know, because um, I mean, nobody should feel really stuffed. Should be, oh my god, I ate so much, I'm so stuffed. That's not good for anybody. You have to listen to your body, and once you are satisfied, then you have to stop eating. And don't eat just because, you know, that tastes so good and I have to eat the whole thing. So, um, yeah, I, I think that's it, you know, that's how I deal with this. That's how I, I see this, you know. Put food in your meal plan gradually and um, just split that in six, five, six, seven meals a day. And, um, don't eat too much, don't eat more. Oh, and there is another thing that you can do, like if you want to increase the amount of calories, you know, you can take like some supplements and uh, put some extra, like some boosters uh, in your milk or something like that. So you won't have that feeling of being full, but at least your body is gonna be nourished um, with what it needs, so I don't know, but uh, yeah, a dietitian would be the best person to answer that for you and to give you the tips. Okay guys, so I uh, hope you guys have a good week. Summer season is over in Brazil, you know, the beach season, so I'm kind of sad about that because I'm not going to the beach next weekend, but that's okay. I'll be around and now I'm gonna get back to watching more videos, you know, catch up on the videos that I've lost because I was like traveling all the time. Anyhow, have a great, great week and I'll talk to you guys next Monday. See ya. Bye-bye.